in the heart of Lagos, where the streets were alive with energy. Fraternal twins Kimi and Tunde carved out their unique space in the bustling city. Their weekends were filled with adventure. Shopping at local markets, exploring hidden eateries, and laughing under the vibrant street lights. Their bond was unbreakable. They shared everything, from childhood memories to dreams for the future. One evening, at a lively street festival, Tunde's eyes fell on Aisha, a girl dancing joyfully with friends. Her laughter was magnetic, drawing him in like a moth to a flame. As they started talking, Tunde felt an instant connection, the kind he hadn't experienced before. Aisha was lively and charming, and they quickly exchanged numbers, both hoping to see each other again. However, as the days passed and their relationship blossomed, Tunde began to sense a growing tension. Aisha would occasionally glance at Kimi with a mix of curiosity and annoyance. Unsure about the closeness he shared with his sister, Tunde felt torn. He had never had to balance a romantic relationship with his bond with Kimi. It was unfamiliar territory, and he knew he needed to address it. But for now, he pushed the nagging doubts aside, wanting to enjoy his budding romance while still being the supportive brother Kimi deserved. As weeks flew by, Tunde and Aisha's connection deepened. They went on romantic outings, enjoying dinners by the beach, strolling through parks, and sharing stories over coffee. Tunde felt alive in Aisha's presence, yet he noticed her unease whenever Kimi was around. The twins had always been each other's confidants, and Tunde sensed Aisha's discomfort with their closeness. One evening, during a quiet dinner at a rooftop restaurant, Aisha voiced her feelings. Tunde, I really like you, but it feels like you're always with Kimi. I can't help but feel like I'm competing for your attention. Her eyes were filled with sincerity, but her words cut deep. Tunde's heart raced as he struggled to respond. She's my sister, Aisha. We've been close our whole lives. It's not competition, it's just how it is. He felt defensive but also guilty for not recognizing her concerns earlier. Aisha sighed, her frustration evident. I understand that. But it's hard for me to see you two together all the time. I want you to be there for me too. Tunde realized then that he needed to strike a balance between his love for Aisha and his bond with Kimi. That night, they left the restaurant with a heavy silence hanging between them, both knowing they needed to address this issue soon. Tunde couldn't shake off the feeling of unease that settled in after his conversation with Aisha. The next few days felt heavy as he tried to navigate both relationships. Aisha grew more distant, often expressing her annoyance when Kimi was around. Tunde felt trapped, torn between his sister and the girl he was falling for. One afternoon, while hanging out with Kimi at their favorite spot, a local cafe, Tunde noticed her scrolling through her phone. A thoughtful look on her face. What's up? He asked, hoping to lighten the mood. Kimi looked up, just thinking about how much fun we used to have together. I miss it. Her voice was tinged with nostalgia, and Tunde felt a pang of guilt. I've been busy with Aisha, he admitted, trying to sound casual. Kimi's expression shifted. I get it. But I just hope you're not forgetting about us. Her eyes searched his for reassurance. Later that week, Tunde invited Aisha to join them for dinner. He hoped it would help ease the tension. But during the meal, Aisha kept stealing glances at Kimi, her annoyance bubbling under the surface. I just don't see why you're so close, she muttered, breaking the silence. Tunde felt the weight of her words. 
Aisha, I love you both in different ways. Please try to understand. The evening ended on an awkward note, leaving Tunde with a growing sense of dread about what might happen next. After the awkward dinner, Tunde knew he had to address the situation head on. He felt a mix of anxiety and determination as he arranged to meet Aisha at a quiet cafe to clear the air. The moment he saw her, he could tell she was still upset. Aisha, he began, sitting across from her, I've been thinking about what you said. I want to be honest about my feelings. She looked up, her expression softening. I appreciate that, Tunde. I just want to feel secure in this relationship. It's hard when you're so close to Kimi. I understand, Tunde replied, feeling a wave of empathy. Kimi is a huge part of my life. But I want you to be part of it too. I don't want you to feel like you're competing. As they talked, he could see the walls around Aisha starting to crumble. They discussed how to blend their lives together without sacrificing their individual bonds. Tunde shared stories about his childhood with Kimi, hoping to show Aisha that their connection was built on years of trust and love. When Kimi unexpectedly entered the cafe, Tunde felt an odd tighten in his stomach, but instead of tension, Aisha smiled, seeing Kimi as just another person, not a rival. They chatted amicably, and Tunde realized that perhaps this was a turning point. Despite the positive moment at the cafe, the underlying tension between Aisha and Kimi lingered. Tunde felt the strain in his relationship with Aisha grow heavier as they struggled to navigate their feelings. He couldn't shake the guilt of being in the middle, constantly trying to please both women. One evening, after yet another argument with Aisha, Tunde found himself sitting on the rooftop of his apartment, looking out at the shimmering Lagos skyline. Kimi joined him. Sensing his turmoil. What's wrong? She asked. Concern etched on her face. I feel like I'm losing Aisha because of my closeness with you. He confessed. It's like I can't find a way to make both of you happy. Kimi placed a comforting hand on his shoulder. You don't have to choose between us. Tunde. Just be honest about your feelings. Relationships take work and you can't ignore one for the other. Her words resonated with him, sparking a realization that he needed to fight for both relationships. Later that night, he received a message from Aisha, asking for space. The finality of her words hit him hard, and he felt a mix of sorrow and determination to make things right. Days turned into an emotional blur for Tande. He missed Aisha's laughter and warmth but felt helpless without her. Kimi noticed his heartache and took it upon herself to help. You need to reach out to her, she encouraged one evening. Tell her how you really feel. Gathering his courage, Tunde sent Aisha a heartfelt message, expressing how much he missed her and wanted to work things out. He suggested they meet in their favorite park hoping it would bring back the magic they once shared. When he arrived, he saw Aisha sitting on a bench, her expression a mix of surprise and apprehension. Hey, he said, his heart racing. Hey, she replied softly, I wasn't sure if you'd come. Tunde took a deep breath, feeling the weight of their unresolved feelings. I've missed you. I realized I didn't handle things well. I don't want to lose you. Aisha's eyes softened. I've missed you too. I thought maybe you'd chosen Kimi over me. I could never choose. He said earnestly. You both mean so much to me. I want to find a way for all of us to coexist. They spent hours talking, clearing misunderstandings and sharing their feelings. Slowly. Aisha's walls began to fall, 
and Tunde felt a glimmer of hope for their future together. With their hearts laid bare, Tunde and Aisha began to rebuild their relationship. They agreed to communicate openly about their feelings and fears moving forward. Tunde felt a weight lift from his shoulders, knowing they were on the same page. A few days later, Tunde invited Aisha to a casual get-together with Kimi. He wanted to create an environment where they could bond naturally. The atmosphere was a mix of excitement and nervousness as they gathered at a local restaurant, their favorite hangout spot. To Tunde's relief, Kimi greeted Aisha with warmth. I'm glad you could join us. I've heard so much about you, she said, smiling genuinely. As the evening unfolded, the three of them shared stories, laughter, and even playful teasing. Tunde watched as Aisha and Kimi found common ground, discovering shared interests and even joking about their quirks. The tension that once loomed over them began to dissipate. By the end of the night, Tunde felt a sense of unity he had longed for. As they walked home together, Aisha and Kimi chatted easily, no longer feeling like rivals but like friends. Tunde realized that his relationship with both women could flourish, and he felt grateful for the love they all shared. As the sun rose over Lagos, Tunde found himself reflecting on the journey he had taken with Aisha and Kimi. Their relationships had transformed woven together in a way he never thought possible. They had navigated misunderstandings, jealousy, and insecurities, emerging stronger on the other side. Tunde was excited about the future. He planned adventures with Aisha while ensuring Kimi remained an integral part of his life. The three of them began spending more time together exploring the city and creating new memories as a trio. One evening, as they sat by the beach, watching the waves crash against the shore, Tunde felt a sense of peace. Aisha leaned against him, and Kimi playfully splashed water in their direction, laughter ringing out into the night. In that moment, Tunde understood that love could take many forms. It didn't have to be a competition. Instead, it could be a harmonious blend of bonds. With Kimi by his side as a sister and Aisha as his partner, he felt a sense of completeness he had never known before. Together, they faced the vibrant challenges of life in Lagos, ready to embrace whatever adventures awaited them.